From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA Late with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check of 2021, that multiple stimulus check starting the month of July. In this recording, we go over not one, but six major breaking news as the vote looms for the fourth stimulus check. Incredible great news. We'll go over how much you're gonna get, when you're gonna get it, and what is this great news forming this afternoon. Then, in the second half of this recording, we go over fifth stimulus. That'll raise your benefits up if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, and veterans benefits. And the new benchmark that could raise your benefits to the roof, lifetime. Then in the middle of this recording, we go over thousands, tens of thousands of dollars that viewers get day after day, and I want you to get it if you haven't gotten as well. And we'll go over a new tracking tool that you can use to find where that money's coming from. It's a big day. It's a big afternoon. I'm really excited for you. Let's get to the money. Let's get to Afternoons LA Light. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing? You're almost halfway to the weekend. <laughs> Congratulations, you're almost there. How is the weather where you are tuning in from? If you're watching the show live or taped, or jump into the comments and say where you're watching and how's the weather. In this big recording about your fourth stimulus check, we have all the incredible great news. We're going to go over how much you're going to get, and then we're going to go over the incredible six, no less than six, breaking news developments across the board, from the White House to Congress, all really incredible great news going over the looming vote for this multiple stimulus check. Then in the second half of this recording, we're going over fifth stimulus. Wow. This will raise your benefits up if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Railroad benefits, and veterans benefits, and then give you a new benchmark. It'll be the single biggest payout you've ever seen in the history of the benefits. We'll be going over how much it is and how it works. Then in the middle of this recording, tens of thousands of dollars that viewers get on a regular basis, but if you haven't gotten it, I want you to get it. And if you've gotten some, I want you to get some more. <laughs> and we're going to go over that with a new tracking tool. Yes, this is Alla Light, the only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel. From Wall Street to Main Street, from my home to your home, all the financial news you need to know with 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. So subscribe. Next stop, 1 million. Also, like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. More about the membership, which is in the link at the top of the chat in the pinned comment, coming up later in this video. But let's cut to that multiple stimulus check, the four stimulus package. And there is a key name you want to remember when we're talking about this four stimulus package. It is Jalapal. Jalapal is the individual who wrote the House bill, which provides a monthly stimulus check. The monthly stimulus check, the amount, and who's behind it, and how it works. We're going to go over that right now. And if you're watching this a lot, when it debuts, the show at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, jump in the live chat and get ready to vote House of Senate, but not just yet. And if you're watching it taped, jump into the comments. Also, state where you're coming from, where you're watching from. Love to see how the weather is where you are. So Jalabal's bill in the House provides a stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. The Senate proposal in turn provides a stimulus check from July to December. So do you like that? Well, don't vote yet because we got to look over the monthly amounts. Jalapal's bill provides a stimulus check the first month of $2,000 and then every month thereafter at $1,000 a month. The Senate amount is unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Wow, yes. $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400. That is per person. Now, before you vote, let's go back to something that's now making Jalapal's bill get modified. And it's the issue of the pandemic. Pandemic plus one year stimulus checks. Well, some insiders think that the pandemic may be over by the time the vote occurs. If that's the case, then you would get stimulus checks for one year, not one year plus, plan, plus pandemic. That would be one year checks, 12 months, 12 checks under Jalapal's bill is $13,000 compared to the Senate plan, which is nearly the same amount, just 
half the amount of time. Okay, so now with that, jump into the live chat or the pin, or if you're watching this tape and vote Senator House, Senator House, and also say where you're tuning in from. All right, let's go over everything else you need to know about this starting right now. First, who gets it? You do. So if you are a single individual who makes less than 75000 you get the fourth stimulus check. It's the same eligibility as the third. Married couple, 150000 or less, you get it. You get the fourth stimulus check. Just double it. Household four or less, you get the fourth stimulus check. Quadruple it. Yes, as a family of six, two people would not get stimulus checks. And then if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or Railroad Benefits, you get the fourth stimulus check. Wow. Next, is it taken out for taxes? No, it's not income. Is there a different stimulus check amount for different people? No. So adult dependents, minor dependents, everyone would have the same amount. Remember, I'm just a reporter. I don't make representations. The legislators do, and they represent. The vote would be no later than July 4th. That means you'll get your first check in the month of July for the month of July, and in August for the month of August. There would be no waves of stimulus checks. They can't afford to do waves because it's a monthly check. And then finally, how do they finish this out? This is going by a two-bell two-month, two-step process called reconciliation, already underway. They just need to call the vote. More about calling that vote in just a second. That's your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. Now, I got some really exciting, great news. From the president to the White House, a lot of big news about calling the vote and how soon to call the vote. I have all those details, no less than six breaking news stories in just a second. But first, let me give you a preview of the second half of this video. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over fifth stimulus. And fifth stimulus will raise your benefits up if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Royal Benefits. And it's a lot more money than the Elizabeth Warren plan. Why? Because that benchmark of inflation, which she did not provide. Inflation will change your benefits lifetime. And I'm going to show in the second half of this recording why it's incredible. Now, let's go to some money that's available for you. And I had another view this morning on Overnight to LA. Say, thank you, LA. I got some money for rent. She got $500. And she got some money for utilities. I think she said $450. And she's still looking for some more. So congratulations for her. We're going to go over the thousands of dollars of money you can get. And it's starting right now. I got a lot of money to get you. So get a pen and paper ready. Because throughout this recording, we're going to go over a lot of money. And it starts... With this, $350 billion has now landed in your city, counties, and states across the country. More coming next week. And what is this? It's from Third Stimulus. Third Stimulus provided all this money for you under the Third Stimulus package, and I want you to get that money. That Third Stimulus money is money for rent, utility, mortgage assistance, homeowners assistance, and also homeowners utilities. So I want you to get that money, and we're going to go over how you get it right now. Get a pen and paper ready. First, how much money is it? It's $5,000 approximately for rent. Four to six months of rent. Wow. And each of the places you're going to reach out to has different income qualifications. So if you get a no, go to the next one. They have all different eligibility. All right, ready? Here we go. City Hall, City Housing Authority. County Hall, County Housing Authority. State Hall, State Housing Authority. The keywords you're going to use is rent assistance because of COVID. You're not going to say stimulus. You're not going to say Biden. Uh, you're not going to say anything like Biden stimulus. You can say Biden Economic Recovery Act. And there you go. About $5,000 money for rent, also money for utilities, homeowners mortgage, and homeowners utility help. I'm excited for you. Go get it. Not a single day passes without a viewer getting that money, or actually not a single few hours. So you're doing really well, and I'm really empowered when viewers get this money. So if you do send me a message on DM or, or post it on the channel or jump in the comments, it really empowers me, and it also motivates other people as well. All right, let's get to the next set of money, money. and it's really a lot. It is SNAP. What is SNAP? SNAP is money for your food, so go get it. SNAP is about $16,000 for a family of four in Hawaii right now. Wow, why so much money? Because of two executive orders, one from Biden and one from Trump that raise your benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get it. It's just so much money. So that money is incredible. How can you get this money? You're going to reach out to Department of Agriculture. That's DOA. And if you can't reach DOA on the phone, call 211. They will connect you. It is incredible. And why is it so much? Because of those two executive orders, which raised everyone, yes, everyone's benefits, for one year till December for 
So go get that money for food, SNAP, right now. Wow, we're doing really well. 10 minutes into this video. $16,000 for SNAP, $5,000 for rent, and we are just getting started. It's time for some automatic money. I love automatic money. I know you do. So let's get to it. Not one, but two, and we're going over some new details about this automatic money right now on Afternoons LA. Okay, the first one is money back from your state. Thousands of dollars. One viewer is getting 5000 How do you get this? How, oh, you know, first, how much is it? Then how do you get it? And when do you get it? Let's go over all the details. First, how much money is it? The federal government has identified that states had overpaid unemployment benefits to its citizens due to computer malfeasance and then told you to return the money back to them. And you did. Well, the federal government said that was an error. You should have been allowed to keep the money and has now ordered the states to return the money back to you. Wow. So let's go over how you're going to get it through the bank account that you have on file with your Department of Unemployment. Finally, when? Every state is taking their own respective time. Some states have started, some have not, so reach out to your respective state. All right, let's go to another pot of automatic money. And I know we're at Wednesday, we're at the middle of the week, but guess what? Some more of this money could be landing next week. And I'm gonna give you a track or two on this starting just a second. So what is this money from? It's from the federal government, IRS and Treasury. So it's incredible. We're gonna go over how do you, what is it, then how do you get it, and finally, when do you get it? All right, what is it? It is the taxes you paid on your unemployment benefits to IRS. You're getting that money back from IRS. All right, let's go over an example. Let's say you had um, $9,000 of unemployment benefits. You paid that, to, uh, you went and filed your 2020 tax return. You paid a total of $5,000 to IRS on your 2020 tax return, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits. You're getting back $4,000, wow. Next, how are you getting it back? You're getting it back um, from IRS, and that is going to come in a check. The check will go likely in your mailbox. The only rare circumstance is if it goes to direct deposit instead. So that check will go to your mailbox. You're going to look for a beige white envelope, and in that beige white envelope will be a base check written from Treasury to you. So look for that envelope. Finally, when? When? Um, there was there's three phases, and they're going to complete all three phases by the end of the week. That doesn't mean you're going to receive it by the end of the week. You can receive it next week, of course. So phase one was paid out last week. Single filers, no dependents, non-complex returns. Phase two is underway currently. Single filers, joint uh, complex returns. And then also this week, later this week, are joint filers, husband and wife, complex, uh, joint filers, husband and wife. But it's important to understand that everyone's going to get paid out by the end of May, but the checks could still land next week. So be careful when looking at the mail for the next few days. Finally, a tracker tool. Yes. So if you want to track that money coming back to you, go into irs.gov. Then once inside of irs.gov, set up a username and password. Put in your social security number. Then do a transcript search for your name. It'll show all activity between you and IRS. The third stimulus check, and the payment of your taxes to IRS, and now the refund back from IRS. And there you go. I'm really excited for you. And let's get to some really exciting, great news. And it starts with your fourth stimulus check breaking news at Afternoons LA right now. Boy, I have six breaking news stories. I think it's almost seven. I'm losing track of it at this point. And some are brand new in the last eight, 10 hours. Some are from last Friday. But when you hear them collectively, you understand the momentum, the snowballing. That is why you have to hear them really in order, which is how I'm going to do them right now. When we were talking about four stimulus checks early in this recording, I was talking about that Jalapal bill from the House. Remember Jalapal? So when Jalapal wrote that House bill, 100 House plus Democrats came forward and wrote the president a letter saying, we're going to put four stimulus checks into the four stimulus package. Jalapal's bill is incredibly great. At the same time, the senators wrote the president letter saying that if Jalapal's bill doesn't get taken care of, we'll take care of it at the Senate level when the bill lands in the Senate during the Votorama. Incredibly great news there as well. So what happened with Jalapal first to get this ball rolling in the last few days? Jalapal started it with a letter to Leader Schumer and Speaker Pelosi. The letter said... Call the vote. Call the vote. What are we waiting for? 
Now, why did Jalapal say that? Jalapal said that because ostensibly the reconciliation bills they represent have already been written. So there's no reason to wait around any longer. It's just time to call the vote. And what makes this even better great news is that this letter written by Jalapal was co-signed by dozens of legislators. And among those legislators are the ones who saw who wrote the president letter initially supporting Jalapal's bill. So you see how this continues to get from good to better to even better than that. But guess what? I got more great stuff coming up in just a second. Let's go over the next letter. And the next letter is just incredible. It comes then from these people. Seven members of the House wrote the president, the president, yes, him, a letter on Friday saying, we're going to work with you to put for stimulus, reoccurring monthly stimulus checks into the force stimulus package. Now, when they're saying work with him, that's a euphemism because they're responsible for writing the force stimulus checks. Why the checks? And what is this talking about? These people are part of the House Ways and Means Committee, which is actually tasked with the duty to write about stimulus checks in every stimulus package. And they're the people writing the president about monthly stimulus checks, how we're going to work with you. This is incredible. Every stimulus package, it is the House Ways and Means Committee that is responsible for writing the language of the bill about stimulus checks. And now seven members of that subcommittee, that is very small, is writing the president saying, we're going to work with you on putting those stimulus checks in there. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is incredible. Is Captain Obvious walking behind me on the set yet? Uh, it is just, just incredible. And it got even better on Friday. When the President of the United States came out and said, basically, no deal. He said, I'm going to reduce my proposal for the force stimulus package down $600 billion. But he didn't take away the $600 billion items. He just said they're in another bill, so we don't need it here. This was after the Republicans had not come up on their dollar offers. They had remained at $500 billion. So what did the President say to his legislators by Friday, but certainly before Friday? He said, I'm going to have these bipartisan lunches all the way up to Memorial Day. And then after that, that's it. No more bipartisan chats. We're calling the vote. Wow. Incredible great news. Except for that one view who said, but Memorial Day weekend is September. No, it's a Saturday. <laughs> so we really only got today, uh, tomorrow, and then Friday, which under Larry Cutlow's calculator is like seven days. <laughs> yeah, no, it's three days. We got three lunches, which is really like chicken, fish, pizza. I mean, that's it. <laughs> That's it. There's no, you know, you get your chicken and fish done, and then you're on a pizza and you're done. And you call the vote. Wow. And then it got even better. It got even better on Monday when the president of the United States did two major twists. And these are just, the second one just shocked me. <laughs> just shocked me. I got to slow it down because this one, these two are a little more complicated. The president on Monday said that he's going to try, he's going to drop the global corporate tax rate to 15%. What and that he's going to get the G7 countries and that the G7 countries have agreed to it ostensibly. What is this about? So the four stimulus package is paid for by the corporate tax rate in the United States, not the global corporate tax rate, the United States corporate tax rate. It's currently 21%. The president wanted it 28, 29%. And then the moderate Republicans wanted to lower it. So he said, okay, I'll lower it down and I'll bring it down to 25%. Deal. That was several weeks ago. So what happened on Monday? Well, the president had been re reaching out to G7 countries and said, we want to fix this global corporate tax rate. What's the global corporate tax rate? It's if a, country, if, if a business in the United States leaves the United States and moves their operations overseas for a lower corporate tax rate, they may stay there because the corporate tax rate is so much cheaper, let's say in France, than the United States. Well, the incredible great news is the president got the G7 countries to prevent that with a new global tax rate of 15%. That was the first item on Monday. But then came this breaking developing detail, which just shocked me. So much shocked me is the light going in and out today. <laughs> you know, it's like the, it's getting light and sunny every 10 seconds. Uh, that's California in May. <laughs> so what was the second half? The president said to insiders that if the G7 countries agree to the global corporate tax rate of 15%, that after forced stimulus is approved, then he will drop the U.S. corporate tax rate back down to 21%. Why? Because at 25%, we would not be competitive when the global tax rate is 15 
oh my goodness. So we would get our four stimulus checks monthly and get the corporate tax rate back down. It's incredibly great news. And then yesterday came more great news from the president when he got a counteroffer from the Republicans, just a few of them, not the whole caucus. I think it was like three or four, where they came forward and said, we will raise our counteroffer now from $500 billion, which was day one, to now $1 trillion. The president is rejecting that, and that's great news because it's just a fraction, a third of what he almost wants, and that means the vote is going on. <laughs> The vote is going on. Memorial Weekend, here we come. Vote, here we come. The vote is looming. The excitement's brewing. And the other excitement is you're going to get some rent. You're going to get some uh, utilities. You're going to get some rent mortgage, and you're going to get some homeowner's utilities. I can feel it. You're going to reach out to those six locations. And if you have problems getting it, you can reach out to the volunteers. The volunteers are viewers just like you, who are salt of the earth, who have stepped forward to help others. They're in the description to this video. So open the description, you're gonna see an emoji of a house. Next to that emoji of the house is a picture, it is a link to news.la.com forward slash community, the community page. When you go to that web page, you see a picture of some cats kittens. Lower on the page are the volunteers. Reach out to them. They can help you with rent, utilities, and more. And guess what? They can also help you with some internet. And I'll be back in just 60 seconds with you with big, exciting news about their stimulus. Wow. This is going to change your benefits for a lifetime and more exciting details about Four Stimulus. Stay with me. I'll be back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on Afternoons LA from Santa Monica and Southern California. Hope your day is going wonderful. I am so excited you are here. We're going to have a lot of fun in the second half of this recording. In the second half of this recording, we're going to go over four stimulus. And of course, fifth stimulus. But first, subscribe. This is LA, your 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel. From Wall Street to Main Street, everything you need to know. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record one year. So hit that subscribe button right now. Also, like this video and consider becoming a member. In a moment, you're going to see the benefits of membership by tuning in. All right, let's get to Fifth Stimulus, the incredible great details about Fifth Stimulus starting right now. Fifth Stimulus heats up this fall, and Fifth Stimulus raises your benefits. But guess what? It's better than anything that Elizabeth Warren had initially proposed. So Fifth Stimulus will modify SSI and SSDI. Let's go broadly over it, and then we'll go over the specifics. First, it will raise your benefits, then remove the asset cap. Add an inflationary benchmark, remove the income exclusion, and remove the marriage penalty. All right, let's go over all these details right now. First, it will raise your benefits up lifetime. So who's you? If this is you, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, Survivor Benefits, Multiple Benefits, your benefits will be raised up a lifetime. There's a lot more than $200 a month for, for 12 months with Elizabeth Warren. This is lifetime, folks. This is a lot of money. Next, it's going to apply a benchmark, and this is the 
real cat's meow. It's going to apply a benchmark, and that benchmark is inflation. Now, everyone knows what inflation is. That's easy. But what's the inflation going to be in December, and what does a benchmark mean? Let me explain. Every December, you get a letter saying, hi, next year your benefits will be the same, or they'll step up. If they step up, they never step down. So here's an example. When they apply a benchmark of inflation in December, they look at the inflation rate. And if the inflation rate is a certain number, then they step up your benefits. If the next year inflation is zero, they do not step down your benefits. Your benefits will always be at that stepped up basis for the rest of your time on the planet Earth. Wow. So let's go over what inflation could be. You know, it was about a week and a half ago, the Jeremy Siegel professor at the Warren School of Business said the inflation rate may be 20%. That might be on the high end. The Federal Reserve has been talking about a very low inflation rate, which most people don't believe. The Federal Reserve head out of Atlanta has said that the growth rate will go from 4 to 10.5% this December. It's currently 4 So that's signaling like a 6 7% inflation. And then we have a lot of analysts every single day that really basically come out and say 4 to about 7% inflation. Well, this is incredible great news. So let's go over the calculation how this works. First, it's going to raise up your benefits under fifth stimulus. Then let's say the inflation rate in December is 6%. That means your benefits would raise up 6%, but not just for this year. Once you're raised up, that's where you are. You never step down. So once you're raised up 6% for inflation, if that's what the rate is this December, you're always going to be stepped up at that basis for your rest of your time on planet Earth. If the year after this, it goes to 2% inflation, you'll step up another 2%. It's insanely great news. All right, let's go over the other items of fifth stimulus, and those are uh, removing the asset cap. Thank goodness it's gone. <laughs> like the bad sun at the start of this video. <laughs> Have you noticed it? It's one of those May days where it just gets sunny and dark and sunny and dark just in within a second. And it's getting cool and warm here. So how's the weather where you are? Are you are you seeing big weather changes today where you are? Because I don't like that in the same... Even in the 20-minute recording, it started warm now. It's getting cold. Uh, but that's what's going to go out with the, not with the asset caps, asset caps going to be gone. So no fluctuation on that asset cap will be gone. And then you will be able to keep those stimulus checks on hand and not worry about a $3,000 asset cap dating back to a 1980s law, 1980s laws going away. Then they were going to move the 1960s law, which is the income cap. And that prevents you from working. So now if you want to work, you don't have to, but if you want to work thousand, two thousand dollars a month, you can, and still stay on benefits. And finally, the marriage penalty is going to go away. Thank goodness. It's horrible. The marriage penalty prevents you from getting married because you'll lose your benefits and penalizes if you if you are married. So they're going to remove it, get rid of it. And that means love is going to win. So you'll be able to marry your long-time love interests and love will win. And if you are married, you will no longer suffer from the marriage penalty. That's fifth stimulus. Happening in September, a two-bill, two-step process out the door, likely to impact your benefits around November. You'll see the step up in January. Now, here is a reason why membership is helpful to a viewer. The membership links at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. In Fifth Stimulus, there's a lot more than just the SSI and SSI reform. The president calls the Fifth Stimulus package the American Families Plan. But ironically, there's a lot of stuff in there that is nothing to do with families. <laughs> there is money for single individuals. There is money for hazard pay. There is money for seniors, for medical assistance. There's a lot of wonderful single people money in there. And how do you know that? If you're a member, you get daily all the lists of what's in the fifth stimulus, the fourth stimulus, and the third stimulus. It's also really important to get that information because in the next few weeks, when we go into July, there's a lot of things happening in July from different stimulus packages. And if you don't know which one it is, you can get confused. For example, we already heard that at least we already heard in this video that the vote for the fourth stimulus will be no later than July 4th. It can be in June, but no later than July 4th. And the four stimulus checks will go out in the month of July. Well, guess what's also going out in the month of July? Third stimulus, not fourth, third stimulus month checks for the children. What's also going out in July, a bill for the federal budget has nothing to do with stimulus. So there's a lot of things happening at the same time. It is very easy to get confused. Moreover, there's a lot of other items that you can get on a third stimulus package. I don't have time to cover in a given day. And there's a lot of items in the fourth stimulus I don't have time to cover in a single 30-minute video, which is now at the 29-minute mark. Uh, finally, let's circle back to fourth stimulus. And that's really, I have something big to d deliver to you for the first time on Afternoons LA, which is actually sort of flows from what I just said. 
A new report out today from Politico asks Americans and even Democrats who are supporters of the president, do they know what's in the fourth stimulus and the fifth stimulus? And nearly half of all respondents had absolutely no idea what was in either of the fourth or fifth stimulus packages. The rest of them had barely a small smidgen of an understanding of what's in the fourth stimulus or fifth stimulus. So understand, don't, if you understand and you're using this channel to empower you and learn information, you are ahead of the ball. That's how we do it as a Purple Hawk. Information is king and information is power. So let's go back to four stimulus because I have some more information to give you. What is in four stimulus and what is not going to be in four stimulus? Well, the rent eviction moratorium and the mortgage forbearance, which are currently in third stimulus, are going away. They're not coming back under four stimulus. So that's why I want you to really get that rent, and I really want to get you the get you to get those utilities. And viewers have been doing a great job of getting that money, so go get it. Next. The stimulus checks, the reason why so many legislators love the stimulus checks is because when you look at them, they are the single biggest, fastest cash infusion to get you caught up on your bills. The pandemic is ending. People are getting back to normality, whatever their normality is. But guess what? You got debts. And stimulus checks are liked by these legislators because they get you caught up on your debt. Household American debt is not a good thing. And we need to wipe it out. And the way you wipe it out is a big cash infusion with stimulus checks. Finally, the big exciting news, and we really don't know where this is going, but it's very exciting and it's very fluid, is that those legislators, those seven members of that House subcommittee, House Ways and Means Committee, in that letter to the president also said they're going to work with him in putting in the fourth stimulus an extension of unemployment benefits from the federal government. Wow, <laughs> this is really great news. I have no idea what it is. I have no idea if it's PEUC. I assume it would be. I assume it would be PUA. I don't know if it'd be FPUC, and I don't know if they'll make FPUC perhaps required and no longer voluntary at state level. We're going to see a lot of this still uh, unfold, but I'm really excited for you. Coming up next in two hours from now is Evenings LA. I don't want you to miss that video, and it's going to have a lot of big stuff breaking today across the board. So tune in, Evenings LA, in just two hours from now. Then, Evenings Crypto. Our new hit show last night was our most watched Evenings Crypto show, followed by Overnight's Crypto. Evenings LA is at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, followed two hours after that by Evenings Crypto, and then 30 minutes after that by Overnight's Crypto. Make sure you subscribe. 400,000 subscribers. Next up, 1 million. I want you to subscribe. Share these videos on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit. Tell people to come on over. Like this video, 2-3 thousand likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.